we recently published a video in which we made a remote control for a Christmas tree. Well, you certainly know how it is with remote controls. It's either lost somewhere behind the couch, or has a dead battery in it, or both. And yes, our Christmas tree was also controlled by clapping, but when everyone falls asleep in the evening and only then you remember that you have forgotten to turn off the tree lights, you don't want to wake up the whole family by clapping. And that's why I decided to make this cardboard switch for our tree. This one should be easy to find and at the same time my wife won't be mad at me for clapping in the middle of the night. To make this awesome switch you will need old cardboard boxes, conductive tape or aluminium foil, glue or a hot gun glue, a screw, a knife and scissors and of course a micro bit with crocodile cables. We will start by creating the cardboard structure. I cut square holes in two identical pieces of cardboard. Then I bent them a few centimeters under the opening so that when glued they would stand straight. I also inserted an L-shaped piece of cardboard between them which will create a gap for the lever and at the same time prevent the lever from falling too though. A final check if everything looks good and then I glue the structure together. Now I'm only missing the last piece of cardboard, the lever itself. With the help of scissors I create a hole in the lever and also in the cardboard construction where I then place the screw. The mechanical part of the switch is done, all that remains is to add a conductive path. You can create it either with conductive copper tape or with ordinary aluminium foil and glue. Just cut the foil into strips and glue it to the cardboard. However, copper conductive tape is much easier to work with. The circuit will start on one side where I will later attach a crocodile cable and it will work its way up to the lever. Next. I continue on the lever itself. The tapes must be positioned so that the conductive surfaces touch each other after rescrewing. I will do something very similar on the other side. Finally, add the micro bit. Connect the 3 volt pin on one side of the cardboard switch and the pin 1 to the other side. To test the functionality of the switch, we'll use a simple program where we first set the pull resistor of the pin P1 to down. That is, if we have nothing connected to this pin, it should have a digital input value of zero. In the forever loop, the micro bit constantly checks whether the input value of pin 1 is equal to 1, which means that our switch is closed. In that case, it will display a heart, otherwise it clears the display. I have uploaded a program to the micro bit, I can test it out now. The switch works, the program works, but I still don't have the ability to turn my Christmas tree lights on and off, which was the reason for this whole project in the first place. So I combined the Christmas lights program with the switch program and it should work now. 
apart from setting the pin resistor during startup to down, only one condition has been added here. If the switch is open and thus the read value is zero, the microbit sets its state to off. I have connected the switch to the microbit under the tree. Even after changing the program, the clap control feature should still work. But as soon as I open the switch, the Christmas lights go out. They only light up again if I close the switch and clap again. If you're interested in creating hardware inventions, be sure to subscribe so you won't miss our next video.